Hello everyone. Welcome back to History Lessons. Today we are going to discuss about the Gupta Empire, an interesting phase in ancient Indian history. The age of Gupta Empire is also known as the Golden Age of Indian history. Although not much is known about the origins of Guptas, it is generally considered that the Gupta belong to the family of influential landowners who gradually gained control over the Magadha. Sri Gupta was the founder of the Gupta dynasty. He assumed the title of Maharaja. The Pune copper plate inscription of Prabhavati describes Sri Gupta as the Adhiraja of Gupta dynasty. Ghatokach succeeded his father Sri Gupta and also assumed the title of Maharaja. The reign of Chandra Gupta from 319 to 335 CE can be considered as the architect of Gupta Empire. He laid the foundation for the future glory of Gupta Empire. Chandra Gupta married the Lichavi princess Kumara Devi, which consolidated his position. The strategic conquest of Chandra Gupta laid the groundwork for a larger empire. He assumed the title of Maharaja Dhiraja, the great kings of kings, signifying his rise from a local ruler to a powerful emperor the reign of chandra gupta paved the way for his son samudra gupta to assert in gupta's empire of golden age samudra gupta's reign continued from 335 to 380 ce historian v a smith labeled samudra gupta as the napoleon of india for his military conquest which increased the territorial expansion of the gupta empire the ilahabad pillar inscription described his military campaigns despite the his military pursuits samudra gupta was also a patron of art and sciences numerous quants depict him as a skilled musician and his reign is considered a flourishing period for indian culture chandra gupta 2 also known as the king vikramaditya was the son of samudra gupta whose reign continued from 376 to 415 common era chandra gupta 2 is considered as the pinnacle of the gupta empire gupta king vikramaditya continued his father's expansionist policy extending the empire's borders westward and defeating the western chhatrapas he extended the limits of the empire by matrimonial alliance and conquest he married his daughter prabhavati with venk Vatakata prince Rudrasena II The reign of Chandra Gupta also witnessed the arrival of Chinese pilgrim Fa Hin He described the Gupta society polity and administration during the rule of Vikramaditya in his book Fu Ko Ki The court of Chandra Gupta Vikramaditya was adorned with numerous scholars who were known as the Navratnas or Nine Gems They were Kalidas Vitala Bhatta Varaha Mihira Vararuchi Amar Simha Dhanvantri Kahapanaka Sanku and Harisena Vikramaditya shifted his capital from Patliputra to Ujjaini Chandragupta Vikramaditya was succeeded by his son Kumara Gupta who reigned from 415 to 455 common era He performed an Ashwamedha sacrifice and also issued Ashwamedha type of coins Kumara Gupta also laid the foundation of Nalanda University. He was succeeded by his son Skand Gupta who ruled from 455 to 466 common era. Skand Gupta is also known for remarkable defense of territorial integrity of the Gupta empire both against the foreign invasion as well as the internal rebellion. Skand Gupta defeated Hunas as indicated by Vithari stone inscriptions. Skand Gupta's reign was a period of defending the Gupta's legacy. He successfully fought off external threats and likely maintained internal control. Though the empire resources were likely strained by those conflicts, the successor of Skand Gupta faced a weakened empire and increasing pressure marking the decline of the Gupta dynasty. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel history lessons for more interesting content like this 
and do not forget to press the bell icons for regular updates and also feel free to comment for any suggestions and queries. Thank you.